So this is trial podcast namin because we've tried this before pero fail online. So ginawa namin to um ngayon uh physically na and we're planning to do another podcast later in this year so summer in December. Hopefully matuloy yung name ng podcast is Two Bots so it will be three by the time pero for now let's see what happens. So in topic for this ano like uh, mm-hmm. this is so random kasi bigla ka na dumating <laughs> eh pinagdadaanan ako ano we will not disclose pero for the topic of this podcast ngayon, like um since uh within this year like last for the next three months I'll be turning 30 so parang gusto kong i somehow wrap up yung 20s so ano gusto ko pag-usapan sa boy so for you uh ano masabi mo how would you describe yung 20s mo If you no, share it to question. someone na parang hindi mo makilala, pero to give some, someone parang idea, how's your 20s? How's it? 20s, roller coaster ride, dude. As in, yun yung pinaka-best way para describe siguro yung mga nangyayari. Kasi mag-start yan, parang hindi mo pa sure ano gagawin mo. As in, you're still figuring things out. And then, the moment na na-realize ko ano na yung gusto kong gawin, hindi pa rin basta-basta makakapag-jump sa mga gusto kong gawin eh. I mean, you mm. have to work on it. You have to uh, parang balance things out muna. Are you willing to make this jump to... Like, like for example, in my case, I changed careers eh. Mm. Halfway through ng 20s ko. Tapos, aside from doon, syempre, financial stability and all. Tsaka, ang dami parang... For me, 20s to 30s, yun yung age na parang walang stability <laughs> makukuha eh. Yeah. Parang... It's the time for you to really explore and find things out for yourself if ano yung gusto mo and kung uh, mag-work out ba talaga original plan mo or you have to set up for backup plans. Yeah, I mean, meron din mga kilala na like ngayon pa lang some way, somehow financially mm-hmm. they've made it some uh-huh. way, somehow. Pero super rare and I don't think like kung kunwari uh, someone ka in your early 20s, mid to mid 20s, ah don't pressure yourself. I mean, I think ang laking factor nung luck. So, I think for lucky people, you'll be able to figure it out. Parang you'll make it in your 20s. Uh-huh. Pero, if hindi mo pa, in, I mean, parang feeling mo late ka, you're not. You're just on time. I don't know. That's how I think ka. Ngayon. Especially for sa mga, ano, eh, well, kakain sa mo, sa luck. Yung mga meron kasing genera- generational wealth na yan, o kaya naman, nakahit talaga umpisa pa lang ng career nila. Nakahit na ng lucky strike. Definitely, mas madali talaga sa umpisa. Well, we'll see sa hanggang sa dulo kung magiging consistent yung lucky strike nila. Pero for the most of us na starting out, na out of nowhere, I mean, yung, you're really trying to figure things out sa umpisa pa lang. Hirap. Hindi mm. basta-basta talaga. Wala eh. Kaya it's really a roller coaster ride for me. If may ikikwento ka to anyone, what's the most memorable parang story or memory that you have in your 20s? In my 20s. Yeah. Big question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In terms of what ba? I mean... Anything. Uh, like, kunwari, there's a random person, random stranger na you just want to talk to or like, parang mini engagement. Ganun. Not necessarily too deep. Okay. Well, mini engagement. Kasi, uh, I mean, you've known me since dati pa and introvert talaga ako. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Part of the reason why nag-explore ako into photography kasi I want to develop interpersonal skills ko. Now, ngayon na photographer na ako, there was this time na while waiting uh, for yung makakasama ko sa shoot kasi may client kami that day. Nasa lobby ako ng hotel and I'm just waiting for time. Uh, may random na stranger na foreigner siya. Uh, I forgot kung saan lang siya nanggaling. Basta ano... Uh, very thick yung accent niya tapos na inapproach ako dahil uuwi na siya sa country niya mm. and may mga bit-bit siyang snacks ayaw niya nang iuwi lahat oh, yeah. so i ended up uh, talking to her kasi inoffer niya sa akin yung snacks baka daw gusto ko kung kumakain ba ako noon uh nung una nag-decline ako kasi syempre naiya ako at mm. very random eh caught off guard ako pero very friendly siya and um nabigla na lang nag-start yung kwentuhan na parang saan siya galing, saan siya pupunta. Then, kwentuhan kami about her experience here in the Philippines. Na, for me, very simple interaction lang nangyari. Pero, 
it's a uh, I mean right after that uh, conversation parang na-realize ko I've come a long way na in terms of interpersonal skills kasi mm. dati nga you won't even see me asking a guard for direction sa mall na saan kumahanap tong ganito ano and then that time umabot kami ng I think around 30 minutes nagkukwentuhan lang sa lobby while she was waiting for her dad tapos umabot na yung, yung pag-usapan namin sa experience niya dito kasi it turns out na uh, parang ilang best na rin siya umuwi dito and then minsan for pleasure minsan meron lang talagang asikasuhin mm. uh, so parang it's a very simple conversation with a with someone pero kung isipin mo nowadays hindi siya parang hindi na siya ganun ka spontaneous na nangyayari kasi masyado na tayong we have our own life parang we have our own schedules we stick to our l- l- mm. lalo I mean with Filipinos ha, hindi mas small talk ang Filipinos eh. lalo talaga ba? hindi parang have you ever seen a random na tao na kuwari naghihintay na sa bus stop na biglang magkakakwentuhan na ano mm. diba? especially with Filipinos usually pag kinausap tayo isang tanong isang sagot eh yeah. nagkakahiyaan eh pero with strangers, small talk hanggang sa, you know, nagbi-build, nag-build yung conversation. Pero kasi, ang na-notice ko, when it comes to city, like, mm. anywhere in the world, pagdating sa city, like, people don't wanna do small talk, parang they just want to do, like, do yung business nila. That's the, that's yeah. the thing. Pero, pag tingin ako naman sa province, yeah, like, kaya sa hometown ko, everybody mm. knows everybody, so, ah. parang, small community eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, paglabas pa lang, uy, kamusta? Parang ganyan. Yeah. Pero in the city, I doubt. I mean, even sa amin, sa, sa village namin, ang kilala lang namin, kapitbahay mismo. Pero yung iba, usually, we have our own business eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, ganyan. Kaya it's really fascinating for me na, nakapag, na nagawa ko makipagkwentuhan with a random stranger, foreigner pa. Yeah. Then, yung culture, talk about culture, talk about the experience. So, it's very interesting lang. Yeah. Mm. See. So sa akin, like, I don't know, like, yun nga, like, I'm turning 30, like, kukonclude ko na tong 20s, and so for me, uh, yun nga, like, think pinaka, uh, I just want to share that parang, if you're in your 20s talaga, like, take maximum risk. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily, hindi ka mag-isip pa, like, I mean, <laughs> like, gagawa ka na lang, out uh, of nowhere na. Siyempre, pag-isip pa, ma-prepare, pero, since you don't have dependents, I mean, in, uh, if you're lucky enough na yung family mo, yung parents mo, not depending on you, like, fucking well, take financially, risk. Yeah. Like, fucking take risk talaga. <laughs> like, do the things that you want. Yun, I don't know, like, for me, ah, uh, so you're something different sa akin to most Filipinos is that nag-focus ako, I mean, I don't know if selfish to do the things that you want. No. It's something na narealize ko Late na. <laughs> na. It's never bad to prioritize yourself. Mm. Aside from that, you can always start over again no matter how many times you want. Tapos lalo gantong age. Mm. Go on lang. Parang, uh, wag kang matakot na mag-start ng venture out ng new business, new career, new whatever. Yun nga, gaya sa mo, take risk. Wag ka matakot mm. ngayon. Tsaka, it's never... I mean, it will be scary. Scary. It, it will always be scary. Oh, kahit laging, anong sabi, wala. kahit anong preach natin na wag ka matakot, <laughs> it will be scary pag Sinasabi ginawa mo. Sinasabi natin ngayon, take risk. Ah, pero yeah, deep yeah. inside, ah! Oh, yeah, yeah. Even if ginawa namin yung jump, oh. it's freaking fucking scary. Kasi, eh, yun so, nga, nagsabi ako ng engineering, just, I didn't persuade. Some way, somehow, kakaya sa pairs ko, they spent so much on my education, tapos, mm. I didn't pursue it. <laughs> Daba? Yeah. Kumusta naman sa akin? Not, oh, sige, tinapos ko yung course. Mm. Hindi ako nag ng hospital, pero kumuha pa ako additional certifications for a job na it turns out, hindi ko rin naman itutuloy-tuloy ngayon. Oh, nga pala. Bakit, bakit ka kumuha ng, yeah. You know uh, na hindi mo na gusto yung nursing at that time, pero you did took uh, another parang courses, yung syringe things, oh, tsaka, to further parang pagalingin yung skills or like additional skills on that field. Siguro, nakadala yung mindset na ano eh, uh, andito ako sa line na to, ano pa yung kailangan ko i-build sa sarili ko in terms of this career path. Na later ko na lang na-realize na, hindi rin naman ako mag-hospital. Tapos bigla ako naghanap ng ibang avenue of work for nurses, which is yung medical coding na late ko na rin na-discover. Tos, pero nung na-discover ko, ayan, kumuha na naman ako ng mga certifications, blah, blah, blah. Pero look at me now. <laughs> mm. Nag-resign na. Retired na ako sa coding. Yeah. So, 
parang dami kong kinuha na kung ano-anong certifications. Well, in the end, magre-restart na naman ako. And it's scary at first. Until now, it's scary. Mm. <laughs> Pero, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wala, walang, ano yun? What's that term? Dito ako nainis sa like, sarili ko. Like, couldn't pull yung proper word. Like, there's no guarantee. There's, there's no, no guarantee. No, there's no guarantee talaga. Ever. Kaya nga, ang motto ko lately, kuwari, if I succeed, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if mag-fail yung pinagagawa ko, it is what it is. Mm. <laughs> Ganun na yung surrender ko ngayon sa buhay. Parang, let's just do it. Just do it. Yeah. yeah. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Pero ngayon, like, diba, so mm. I'm turning 30, like, later this year. I'm mm-hmm. hoping na, like, in my 30s, I'm more, est- I mean, I'm definitely more established kung, eh, from mm-hmm. where I started. Pero, I hope, for, I hope, ah, I'm not mm-hmm. saying na, it definitely will, pero I'm really working hard na, from 30 to 35, I'll thrive na, in this field, like, content creation, making videos, production, whatever, I mean, ngayon na, parang, it's getting, confusing kung anong, ano ba to, like, why is this, like, is this even, like, proper, ano mo yun, like, production, or mm-hmm. content creation lang, or like, wha- yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero yun, hopefully, like, I'm really, really looking forward na, from 30 to 35, sure, early 30s, I, I'm still willing na, to grind, pero, sana, in my mid 30s, I'll thrive na, in this field. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing sa, industry na, pinasok natin eh, You can only hope. Ay, yeah. You can only dream. Pero hindi mo makikita yung end product talaga as early as now. Kasi nagko-compound din eh. Kagaya na sa oh, yeah, recently. Yeah. Nagko-compound yung mga pinagagawa natin. So, the only thing we can focus on right now is yung day-to-day task. Yung short-term goals. Mm. And then, yung long-term, we have a vague uh, vision about it. Pero there's no way to really tell kung hanggang saan yung aabutin yung pinagagawa natin ngayon. Hmm. Random thought, bigla lang napaisip ko. If you will relieve yung 20s mo, what would you have done more? Or what would you have done some, I would say something different. Pero like, uh, ako parang there are things na I wish I could have done more. Pero sa'yo, sa'yo, like, what, what would you say na you wish you have done more? Two things. Uh. First, I would have started with the photography much earlier. Mm, mm, mm. Kasi it takes time eh, to really build yung skill mo. Mm. Pangalawa, travel and experience life more. Mm. Kasi, ano man, this year na lang ako nag-start na mag-galagala kung saan pumupunta-punta. And hindi lang, sa akin, parang ang na-enjoy ko dun sa experience is, hindi lang yung fact na nakapunta ako sa isang lugar, mm. pero yung conversations, yung stories na naririnig ko from tao na namimit ko sa mga trips na yon. Parang it's more of the experience and the um, conversations you share with other people na normally you would not have heard about those stories on a regular day. Eh. And usually, mas unhinged ang tao pag nagtatravel. Yun yung napansin ko. Yeah, 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 As in, sure. kasi they don't mind dahil uh, the day after, they won't even know you. Parang wala na yung ganong connection. So, mas open up sila na magkwento ng mga kung ano-anong story sa buhay nila. So, it's something na, na na encounter ko and na-enjoy ko and I wish na ginawa ko siya much earlier na mas mm. may energy ako. <laughs> Kasi ngayon, yung yeah. recovery period natin, yeah, 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 boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Parang after ko mag-travel ng ganyan ng ilang oras na biyahe, few, mga couple of days after nun, gusto kong mag-stay lang sa bahay. Yeah, yeah. same, same. Hindi ko sure talaga if dahil ba tumatanda kami or, or just living unhealthy. <laughs> so, I don't know, between the two. Yeah. Sa akin, boy, siguro, mm. hindi ko siya nire-regret, pero, mm-hmm. I wish, I have been more vulnerable to relationships. Yeah, no? <laughs> <laughs> Ay, Spicy. Hindi, 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 hindi siya, yeah. Ay, kasi, yeah, yeah, that's the thing, di ba? Parang, from, like, this whole decade ng 20s ko, I was not, I, I think I was able to date naman for a few months, like three months. Like in the whole 10 years. If you really think about it, diba parang, yeah, probably could have like uh, dated more, like uh, learn more about people in kasi, oh, those kasi, fields. Though, tsaka hindi naman siya laging, oh, I mean, maganda yung thought na date to marry. Pero how will you know na okay kayo? 
if you won't even try to mingle with other people na in a dating scenario ah kasi i know marami kang nakaka-mingle y- mm-hmm. you've met a lot of people you uh, t- parang lumaki yung network mo oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you gain a lot of friends pero iba pa rin yung dating scenario eh yung ganung klasing interaction mm-hmm. na ang dami mong ma-develop eh I mean, the way you talk to to girls syempre sa umpisa and yung perspective mo sa mga bagay-bagay iba yung perspective kasi usually ng single guy and with someone na uh, been through relationships or currently in a relationship. Yeah, pero the thing is, hindi naman ako awkward. Hindi din naman all at yung uh, how I speak or how I converse sa mga tao. Pero, yun nga, zero game talaga <laughs> sa chat, sa text, email. Like, hit and form online. Zero game talaga ako. Like, I don't know. Like, I just do that to make business eh. Yung pag-message siya. Oh, like, do this, do this, do this. I mean, no riz. Zero riz, boy! <laughs> Zero riz! Feeling ko kasi sobrang formal ng mga ano. Either too formal. Ay, parang you have two sides. Mm. Too formal and too casual. There's uh, no in-between. Uh, and yeah. in the dating scenario, nandun ka dapat sa in-between. Eh. Kasi iba-vibe mo muna yung girl na, eto ba, ano ba siya? Oh, uh, kalog ba siya? Is she outgoing? Or is she on a more uh, formal side na medyo prim and proper? Pero kung too formal, masyadong business yung datingan ito. Mm. Hindi nila maraming. Pag too casual naman, ay, friend ko to. <laughs> mm. BFF na lang balagi, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's so... I wouldn't... Ah, paano ba? Ayokong i-promise. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, now I'm turning 30, di ba? Like, do I... Like, what should I... I don't wanna say it, pero it feels like you're missing out a bit on that part. Me, yeah, I mean, diba? like, Honestly, siguro. I mean, I wouldn't deny. I wouldn't oh. confirm. I <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't confirm nor deny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's one thing siguro if I miss out on like big chunk. Like in my 20s, mm. I, I wasn't able to date as ah. as much or as I'm as siguro needed. Diba? By a uh, mm. proper human being to develop yung like that side of his <laughs> analysis. Oh. Parang, well, gets naman namin na we all have our own timelines, yeah, yeah, yeah. mga priorities. Pero kasi, ang dami mo ring matututunan pag nasa relationship ka eh. Yung perspective in life, yung mga ganyan. Tsaka, uh, mat- pinaka siguro big chunk ng matutunan mo dun is how you um, try to adapt sa scenario. I mean, how you, what's the term? Uh, compromise. Like, oh, shit. Uh, it's about hey, compromise. Boy, boy, boy. It's around the this thing. Like, mm. but the thing sa relationship, pal, it's, if it's not business, I'm not good at compromising. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I've yeah, seen no, it. No, no. <laughs> Fucking A. Hey, that's why major selfish ako in a way. Yeah. You've been single for far way too long na parang I don't see you compromising as much with things na ito gusto ko eh. Parang, kasi when you're in a relationship, you also have to think about what your partner wants and kung ah. ano yung pwedeng mag-work sa relationship nyo. Generally speaking. <laughs> Pero, syempre may times din naman, like I said, prior- it's never bad to prioritize your own happiness. Pero at the same time, you have to learn how to compromise on certain things. And that is something na matututunan mo lang if nak- nakikipag-date ka at the very least. So, it's something na possible na medyo delayed ka. Kasi nga, ang tagal na nung last mo eh. Ha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. Real talk ng tanghali. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pero in this video naman ako, doesn't look yeah. like, hindi nila, I mean, uh. don't know that parents like that noon ngayon. Hiya! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay. Yeah. Diba? It's a big thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, family wise, uh, mm. you think na at this point in time, like I mean, I know, parang somewhere in your twenties you wanted a family, pero you didn't got it. Like, any thoughts? Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> 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 you win some, you lose some. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, Looking back, parang wala, I mean, wala na ako magagawa eh. Parang, uh, for now, ang focus ko na lang talaga is giving back to myself. Parang, 
try to prioritize na lang muna yung mga gusto kong gawin before na hindi ko na nagawa. Mm. So, na-lift ang mga restrictions. <laughs> Domain expansion. <laughs> so, I guess, well, parang, yun nga, it is what it is. You have to maximize na lang kung ano yung uh, meron sa current scenario mo. And, hopefully, better yung mangyayari in the future, pero, we'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. Ganun naman lagi. I mean, I'm the type of person din kasi na hindi ako super uh, maplano. I mean, I have vague visions, dreams, yung mga ganyan. Mm. I have short-term goals. Pero yung super detailed planning, wala eh. Kasi I'm the type of person na uh, mag-focus on the day-to-day task, prepare myself para when opportunity comes or may challenge na dadating sa buhay ko, ready na ako when that time comes. Parang ganun. So... Ah, uh, lang. Take each day. Ano lang. Parang focus ka lang doon. Ah, eh. uh, sige pa muna na isip ko like recently din na uh, I've seen people like uh, I mean as you age, mm-hmm. parang you lose friends. I don't say you lose friends like you don't yeah. hang out as much. That's, Yung relationship like deteriorates. Uh, that's adulting 101 kasi kung bata tayo, uy, tara, kita. Ganun mm-hmm. na eh. Mm-hmm. Ngayong adult, kailan ka free? Kailan day off mo? Kailan ka walang ginagawa? Schedule mo, two weeks, one week. <laughs> Ganyan. Yikes. Scheduling na eh. And it's something na kailangan mo nalang tanggapin. Eh. Ganun talaga. May kanya, magkakaiba na tayo ng schedule. Mm-hmm. Magkakaiba pacing natin. We all have different types of work. So, yung iba minsan, may night shift. Uh, how do you adjust yung sa ganong schedule? So, it's really hard to match yung schedule para makita kaya so nangyari uh, I wouldn't say eh, well siguro pwede rin lose friends pero I think it's more like you lose yung uh, same level of uh, engagement mm. pero the type of connection it would depend with the stability of the friendship na meron kayo nung mga friends mo eh. so like for example tayo kahit il- ilang buwan tayo di magkita dati pag nakita okay pa rin Diba? Pero eh, may mga tao na kahit one week mo lang di makita. Goodbye. <laughs> pero, pwede rin pero ko doon na. Mm. Ah. Kunwari, I mean, ngayon na ah, uh, may college friend. Galing ako sa college friend wedding. Mm-hmm. Meron akong college friend doon na college friend ko, yeah. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, okay naman. Like, we, we had fun. We had blast. Oh. Pero, ang usapan lang namin is like always about the past. That's a major problematic yeah. for me na yung relationship mo with your friends, if you're not making new memories, you parang, can only talk about the past. Yeah, yeah. Parang you're not, I mean, sure, okay, and jan, pero you're not growing as friends. Mm. Parang medyo superficial na lang yung connection kasi wala na eh. I mean, ang meron na lang kayo, memories nung student kayo. Pero wala na yung, uy, nung last week lang, or ano, yung parang, it, yung friendship kasi takes time to build yung mga... True sa mga kalokohan na nangyayari, sa mga fuck-ups nyo, <laughs> doon nag-build mm. yung mga kwento and yung... Parang yung strength ng connection eh, yung friendship eh. Yeah. So, kung college pa huli yung kita, then biglang mag-i-invite na lang sa ano. More on, pas lang talaga mapag-uusapan nyo. Yeah, yeah. Eh, kaya medyo, ano, hindi din ako... I mean, sure, may mga low... Anong term nila doon? Low... Mm-hmm. Low maintenance. Yeah, low maintenance yeah. friendships. Diba? Kaya nga madaling parang bring... Uh, pero nga, like, it's just parang somehow you're missing out pag hindi kayo nag-go out or hindi nag... Pag walang new memories, I just don't see yung friendship grows. Oh. Uh, it's still fun, pero ang ganda na lang. You need to catch up eh. May ca- parang, yeah. Kailangan na every now and then at least may catch up. And, I mean, catch up, kita. Kita. Yeah. Pero... If you're not doing anything, you're just kita tired, then we'll just talk about the past. Yeah, talk about current life. I mean, just ah. try to set no mga lakad, kahit hindi man mga out of town na. At the very least, try to set something na, pare, kita ulit tayo sa ganito, ganyan, tos house life, house business, house your career. Hindi, hindi na pag-uusapan yung, uy, sosyante tayo, ganito, ganyan. Kasi it's very close-ended na yun, eh. It's yeah. done. You, pero you're it's, just it's fun. Pero yun nga, it's, clo- it's fun. 
Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Pero wala na. Wala. Jeez. Yeah. Mas, mas kaya ako eh, kasi college friends, parang uh, once or twice ko palang nakita ever since kung graduate kami. Mm-hmm. And to think na super close kami nung college. Pero wala eh. Well, do, yung iba naman, nakikipag, na, nakakapag-meet pa. Sadyang na busy din ako. Ako yung ano eh, nawawala bigla sa mga ganyan eh. Ito, uh, so, ang dami na nating classmates na nag-migrate. Any thoughts yeah. about it na like, parang, uh, ito, ba ta- ito, na, ito ba talaga yung like, how Filipinos live? Like, uh, ano naman, parang, I think, nung kinapit ko before, it's like, 20 to 30% na nung batch natin migrated. I think it's because sa economy talaga ng Pinas. Kaya ang uh, nakatatak na talaga sa isip natin is there's no growth or it's not enough if you're going to stay in the Philippines. Lalo kapag ang type of work mo is nandun sa usual jobs. Mm. Uh, like nurse, um, ano ba bukod sa ano ba mga trabaho? Medical industry, Basta, hospitality. Uh, mga ganyan. Yeah. Uh, very stagnant yung ano dito. Unless mapopromote ka, walang growth in terms of financial um, progress eh. So, kaya, hindi ko rin masisisi kung bakit gusto talaga ng most ng Pinoy is mag-abroad. Pero kasi, for me ha, uh, hindi kasi ako talaga na hook sa idea na tumira abroad. Mm-hmm. Travel for visa, mga ganyan yeah, lang. Tourism for lang. tourism. O- okay lang yan, tour lang. Pero yung magsisettle down, parang mas comfortable pa din ako dito. And lalo kung, if I think, ay kaya kong naman mag-earn mm. enough mm. Uh, to support yung needs ko and wants, then I don't think I have to live abroad pa. Kasi comfortable na ako sa culture dito. Eh. Pwede naman ako mag-immerse sa culture ng iba via mm. traveling. Parang ganun. Mm, yeah. So, it's more of difference lang sa perspective pagdating sa ganun, I guess. Yeah. Kasi, nakakausap ko din yung friend ko na sa States. Mm. So, one big problem na, I don't know, yeah, yeah, one big problem, problem na na-encounter niya is like, hindi siya makapag-build ng friendship as she has dito, like kami. It's parang, it's, it's impossible. Parang ganun. Puro work. I won't say for poor work. I mean, like, work. So, ang meron na lang siya relationship sa family niya, sa partner niya. Pero, like, deep root connected or connection with other people as friends. Parang, it's freaking almost impossible. Is it a culture barrier? I don't know. Baka naman kasi napuntang lugar niya, area is, uh, ibang-iba yung sa culture na comfortable siya. Let's say, for example, very introvert, very typical Filipino-Filipina yung bet niya na vibe. And then, very outgoing and open yung mga tao dun. Mahirap talaga yun. There, there will be a disconnect with the culture. So, mm. it will be a lot harder to form connections with other people kung ganun. Mm. Yeah. Sa mga problema din talaga parang mamigrate eh. Mm. How do you form meaningful connections with other people na technically, mayumit mo lang uh, at, uh, sa umpisa is sa work, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kung hindi man sa work, kapit-bahay. Pero, I'm not sure. Hindi ko kasi alam culture nila eh. Yeah. Uh, so, since nga napagsama na parang as you age, you lose friends, mm-hmm. parang does resulting to loneliness. Any like thoughts about Do you think uh, mm-hmm. the more we age, the more lonely we feel or kasi nga we're losing friends or? feeling lonely <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say mas naging lonely ah. I would say nare-retain na lang yung key person sa buhay I mean mm. nawi-weed out na lang yung mga medyo superficial yung connection mo and you're just keeping those uh, hand-picked na tao na comfortable ka na and you don't mind. It, to, uh, for me, kasi okay lang yun eh. Uh, I don't mind na um, some of my friends medyo nawawala in the long run. As long as yung pinaka mga close ko is andun pa rin yung connection. Parang, I don't mind keeping a small group of friends. Eh, hey, pero kaya, you have small lang nga. You have small group of friends. Mm-hmm. Pero like, kaya, like for us, like, 
uh, one of her best friends is going to be a dad mm-hmm. in like asking for yeah, this time is like getting more difficult so if you don't have a partner parang who, who you can ask pag uh, you need someone to you know like spend time with you pag uh, kaya mo na pang-tabi. I am the worst person to ask this question <laughs> <laughs> Toxic trait, suffer in silence. Hindi ko masasagot kasi yun nga, I'm the worst person to ask that question with. Kasi uh, I meet new people mm. dahil sa work. So I gain new connections pero I don't see them as someone na parang anytime pwede kong lapitan lagi. I mean, syempre, compared mo, uh, kung if you're going to compare someone na mas bago mo nakita versus uh, dati mo nang kilala, syempre, medyo iba pa rin. Although, I'm not saying na porket bago, hindi na ako mag-open up. Mm. Pero, syempre, ayun, parang may difference pa rin. Pero, at the same time, uh, hindi, parang feeling ko hindi naman nagiging super lonely kasi you still get to meet new people so mayroon ka pa rin namang makakahang out and all pero kung yung super ano ba depende kasi minsan sa personality ng tao eh mm. expound please <laughs> explain please sir when I'm in trouble <laughs> I ghost everyone <laughs> so kahit pag gaano ka deep yung connection natin uh-huh. nasa sa akin na yun eh I, I mean, kung magtatago rin lang ako, alanhin ko yung deep connection. <laughs> Pero sa akin kasi, like, when I have problems, like, oh. minsan, I mean, like, I don't know, a lot of, like, we, like we, I won't say, like, we, but a lot of people needs to vent out. Yeah, just you're looking for vent, someone to talk to. Yeah, 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 just have to vent out, di ba? Yun nga, mm-hmm. sa, parang nagiging problema ng ibang couples, like, oh, like, I don't need you to solve my freaking, fucking problem. I just need you to listen. Yeah. Uh, okay. Gets, gets. Yeah, yeah. And ganun, like, that's what, that's what I mean, uh, It's what you you need friends for, really. No, oh, that's the healthy response. <laughs> <laughs> I can only give you the unhealthy response. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, <laughs> but I'm trying. I mean, I'm trying to open up to people kapag may problema. Sa jang siguro I have to achieve mo a certain level of uh, comfort mo na sa sarili ko before ako mag-approach ng friend na, uy, I need someone to talk to. Mm. Parang ganun. Kailang, may kailangan ko muna akong isettle sa sarili ko before I reach out to somebody else. Yeah. Kaya, uh, wala eh, it's a toxic trait of mine. <laughs> yeah. Ito pa boy, one thing na parang I notice is like, mm. it helps me feel young mm-hmm. when I'm hanging out with younger people. Oh, oof. But at the same instead, time, they instead, could make in, it. Instead of hanging out with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. Uh, But, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, double-edged yeah. sword. Eh. Uh, uh, they make you feel young, but at the same time, they can also make you feel old. Because if the trip nila is too much of a young man, and you don't have the energy, mo. Mm-hmm. dude, I'm too old for the shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't even go to the bar in the bar for hours and hours and just listen to really loud music. Ah, uh, I mean, I don't think I'm really able to. Oh, before kaya kaya ko pa pero ngayon I can per sa glit na lang mm-hmm. and then after that social energy ko oh my god I need to rest yeah. I need to stay away from people muna pero at the same time oh feeling young yeah. <laughs> diba Tsaka, you have to keep up eh hindi pwedeng uh, boomer mentality na and you you have to adapt then siguro that's one thing na uh, maganda sa generation natin uh. na we can adapt a lot easier sa younger generation compared sa boomer mag-adapt sa atin. Parang ganon. Mm. Parang, I mean, that's how I see it. Parang, ala, siguro, umpisa pa lang, very tito-tita ka na mag-isip kahit bata ka pa. Mm. Pero generally speaking, ganon yung nakikita ko. Yeah, but I mean, even for me, parang mm. there's a gap sa akin, like, compared mm. to most people our mm. age na parang, I mean, some way, somehow, I feel medyo delayed ako kasi late ako nakagraduate kasi mm. I pursue different things, pursue my passion, learn more about myself. Parang so, yung education ko in college parang becomes parang sa likod lang. Likod lang nung other priorities ko does making me delayed. Mm-hmm. And parang ever since that, parang I felt na, oh, 
I'm not on the same pace as I am with, you know. Did you ever feel intimidated by other people na sobra yung pacing nila na ang bilis na by this age, established na yung career and all, yung mga gusto nila na achieve nila, very stable. Mm. Have you ever felt intimidated by those people? Hindi naman. Okay. Hindi naman. I don't, I won't say, I won't say okay. na intimidate ako or na inget or uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel any parang negative. And wala din mga regret, mga parang Okay, then that's good. Yeah. Kasi it means you believe na you have your own timeline uh. and things are yet to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, that's for nice. Sure, for sure. Pero yun nga, parang medyo nagkagap sa akin in like parang alam mo, parang it feels na why may share ako things that's happening. Now, it at I think it's really medyo nagkagap na. I think people will think na at too petty. Yung kay pag sa inyo pero pag sa mas bata ko siya, oh, it's fine, it's normal. Sorry, which part? Ba, ah. nagdi-associate ako na. Bata <laughs> 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 no coffee ano. Hindi, hindi kanya, may mga simple simple things na nangyayari, like ah traffic naman, ganyan-ganyan, yung mga like super superficial na uh, typical na reklamo in a day. You think younger people would See it as petty? No, 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 no. Other way around? Yeah, yeah. Yung mga ka-age natin, they see it as petty na. It's freaking normal. Ganyan uh, talaga. Pero like, younger people like, oh yeah, yeah kakainis nga eh. Uh, parang ang daming problema ng mga... Hey. Ang hi- I mean, they can't... Uh, ano yun, they can't? Parang, ang bilis nila magreklamo. Si, hindi, hindi. Would you say uh, mali, that? Mali, mali. Ako, ako yung nagreklamo. Okay, may reklamo ako. Okay. And people are age, parang, they don't have any energy to hear about my complaints. Ah, uh, okay, gets. Tapos, okay, okay. like, younger people na, o oh, nga eh, kakainis nga yan eh. Nagkakasundo kayo ng mga yeah, yeah, younger. Yeah, bit, bit. Yeah, yeah. Medyo ganun. No, sig- siguro dahil iba na yung priorities sa mga age natin usually. Yeah. I mean, iba na yung pacing nila eh. And lalo yung sa mga wala sa creative industry. Yeah. Yeah. Pero not, ito lang, nothing uh, wrong, diba? Nothing oh, wrong nothing with wrong, them, nothing wrong. wrong. Yeah. Just in difference nga. Sadyang, yun, difference in perspective na eh. Iba na yung nakikita nila sa nakikita natin. And that's okay, that's fine. As long as hindi naman kayo nagtatalo na parang nagkakaroon talaga ng problema. Sadyang, learn to listen to people na um... sa tingin mo nag ano parang willing kang mag mag spend ng energy sa mga sinasabi nila parang yeah. so kung hindi na sila makarelate sa ganong klasing concerns okay lang eh nandoon na yung gap eh it's normal there's nothing wrong with that yeah okay let's okay let's wrap this up up mm-hmm. uh anything to look forward to in your 30s <laughs> okay, lalim ng hinga mo ah Uh, <sighs> ako muna since Sige, ikaw muna thing. So sa akin I just wanna be Freaking healthy I wanna try with This career Tapos I mean, Medyo generic Oh yeah yeah Probably date some people So you know <laughs> Generic is good <laughs> yeah, Generic yeah. is fine Yeah But yeah, yeah I'm really looking forward to Sa yun, like, Make more content Have more freaking fun Travel the world Like Taste more food Super basic Pero kasi Alam mo Parang Yun lang uh, Yeah yeah mm. Parang kasi sa akin na, kaya, like, oh, ba't hindi ako nag-dream ng car, ng house? Parang sa akin kasi, if I make a freaking good career, parang automatically it, it comes, eh. Mm, it comes eh, with pa- it. Parang package na lang mm. yun, eh. So, parang last time, uh, may kausap ako, sabi niya, so, kay, co-intern ko before sa work, sabi niya, ah, uh, ano yun? Like, gusto, yeah, for example, travel and content creation. So, I make content mm-hmm. so that I can I won't say that. parang byproduct ng paggawa ko ng content yung travel so I, I, parang it's not the other way around na mm-hmm. sa kanya like he travels tapos yun talaga yung gusto niya does making content is a byproduct okay so for me main goal is to make content good content tsaka honestly like for me itong paggawa ng content is like yung impact why I was inspired to make content is like, oh, parang it feels relatable. Some way, somehow, meron akong mm. nakita na, ah, 
Yeah, yeah, we're like, ah, I was ganun din ako, de ba? Oh, Parang, yeah. siya, we have the same feeling or like, I could relate, ganun. Yeah, so, yun, sa pa yun, like, yeah, sa mga isa mga wanna reach people na who would feel na relatable yung ginagawa ko or who have the same mindset sa mga isa. Yeah, 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 those things. Yeah, yun. Mm. Okay, uh, I would say na similar din. So, sinasaya mo, yes, it's generic. I don't care. <laughs> Pero kasi, uh, if you ask me right now, ano yung pinaka-plano ko gawin in the future? It is to prioritize my own happiness, na prioritize myself. Yung mga hindi ko nagagawa before, try to pursue it. Mm. So, dyan, darating yung travel, whatever. Basta, ex- experience more sa life. Parang ganun. And kasama na syempre dun yung mag full blast sa career mm. as in basta parang kasi there was a time na parang feeling ko medyo na stuck ako so right now ang focus ko na lang is to really push forward one step at a time and focus on the generics yung sinasabi mo na basic lang yun maging stable career mga yan, travel experience life yeah, healthy. pero getting healthy. Yun, getting healthy pero for me it's a big deal eh, kasi feeling ko na neglect ko yung oh. yung side na yun eh. it sounds very mundane pero naniniwala ko it's not just me na marami pang ibang tao na nakakalimutan yung mga very simple things in life kasi masyado nakapag-focus sa mga mas malalaking bagay so i think it's something na uh, we have to keep in mind na there are times we have to step back and um, try to ask ourselves ano ba muna yung gusto natin talagang gawin and work your way around it. Parang gano. Oh, that's a good answer. Okay. Hmm. So, yun. Uh, that ends this hmm. podcast. Hopefully, uh, we do more. And, yeah, yeah see you around. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.